Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing <laughs> Blog. My cat and I are going to tie a, um, we're going to do a really nice little soft hackle here uh, with a bead head. It's going to, it's going to be uh, more impressionistic than imitative. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. Thank you. Okay. We're going to start out and uh, I'm, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot my lead wire, my lead free wire. This is 0 0.015. You could put, you could use 020. And I'm going to try to break that off. And then since I always have trouble breaking it in the back, I'm just going to cut it right there. I'm going to slide that up. And then a little touch of super glue. I'm using a red thread. This happens to be 70 denier UTC. Uh, you could use a red Vivas. You could use a red um, Danville 6 Ott. So, Coke de Leon, de Leon, uh, really nice feather, uh, modeled. How many fibers? I've heard some folks say no more than four fibers. I'm not that, I've probably got eight or ten. There I got some amount. So, one of the most difficult things about doing tails with these flies since I've been tying so many big flies is not getting the tail too long and I wrap all the way up here to the lead anyway I'm, I'm so accustomed to, to tying larger flies that I just I've had trouble adapting Excuse me, but I'm. I've been. I've tied something like 200 of these things in the last couple of weeks because I'm going trout fishing. So here is the Kylie's uh, Kylie's pearl body wrap. Comes on a paper card. It's all these little cool little strips. Now, why would you use this instead of? Seeing like a Vivas uh, pearl uh, opal tinsel. And you, you certainly could do that. What I've found, you know, so there's a couple things. One, I, I, wanted to, I, I like to try new stuff. And the other things, I wanted to see if it was any different. Now, this material has, it's sticky on one side, and it's really shiny on the other. And I, I have difficulty describing the color. Now, it, the thread color does not shine through, but it isn't, it isn't silver and it isn't gold and it isn't copper. Um, I kind of, it's kind of, kind of a challenge to describe the color. It, it's closer to copper than to gold, or is it? It's uh, it's really cool. Anyway, it's a nice, bright, shiny little body. Here's a piece of CDC. Here's another piece. I don't know. Neither one's perfect. So CDC is a material that I really I didn't have much experience with, um, and I would say I was probably kind of dismissive. I knew people raved about it. I hadn't really tried to tie with it. Uh, when I did, finally, I love this stuff. It is so raggedy. 
and so wispy and it's just got all it's got little short broken off stubs and it's got longer wispy fibers and <clears throat> it really makes it's so different from partridge or a hen back um, it's just wild but I think it is uh, does an exceptional job of wiggling creating motion in the current so I'm looking for a little bit of uh, some ice dub. I'm going to go for black ice dub. I would, uh, my alternates to black would be, say, black, peacock black or uh, peacock green. Um, I've used, a, I've chosen a black bead here, which is indic indicative, indicate, indicative of a caddis. Um, I don't want that head to be very large there. Ice dub's funny stuff. And I'd like, because I'm using this really nice red UTC thread, UTC red is actually a brighter red than you will find on either Vivas or Danville. Now I've got to make sure. I don't want my thread to hang up there with when I finish it. And I want to trim this nice and close. Okay. And I, it's not essential, but I'll give it just a little bit of head cement there. Now, some of these fibers, maybe they're longer than I want them to be. Maybe they're not. Maybe it doesn't matter. Some Sometimes people like to pull the fly out of their vise and uh, p kind of pinch off the longer fibers. I like, I sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just take a trim on them. Okay, here we go. Really nice. Uh, it's slender. It will sink nicely. Uh, lots of wiggle. Uh, decent weight. It'll uh, penetrate the, the water pretty well. You can let it sink and rumble along the bottom. You can hold tension on it and let it swing up towards the surface. Um, give this a try. I think you'll have fun with it. I know you'll have fun tying flies with it. I know you'll have fun tying it. Thank you.